find angle X below. Looking at this triangle, we can see that the line from the center of the circle to the circumference is a radius. And then another line from the center of the circle onto the circumference is also a radius. So that means these two lines are equal, which shows that this triangle is an isosceles triangle. So if this triangle is an isosceles triangle, it means we can obtain the base angle of the isosceles triangle. So now, if this is 110, that means the sum of this angle and this angle should be 180 minus 110, and that should give us 70 degrees. So that means the sum of this angle and the sum of this angle is 70 degrees. So each of them has to be divided by, this 70 has to be divided by 2 to get each of them. So each of them is 35 degrees. So that means this place is 35 degrees, and here is also 35 degrees. Now, looking at this triangle, we can see that a line starts from here and moves to the center. Another line starts from here and goes to the center to form angle 110 at the center. There's another line starting from the same point now. It goes to the circumference, and this line from this same point goes to the circumference. So that tells us that since these two lines from the same point, one goes to the center to form a triangle, and another one goes to the circumference to form a triangle, it shows that angle at center is twice that at the circumference. Angle at center is twice angle at the circumference. So if this is 110, that means this place has to be 55. So we divide 110 by 2, and we have this place as 55 degrees. Now, it means that the whole of this angle, the whole of this angle is 105 degrees. That is adding 50 plus 55 will give us 105. So the whole of this angle is 105 degrees. Now look at this cyclic quadrilateral, a quadrilateral with all its angles at the side of it a circle. So this is a cyclic quadrilateral. The opposite angle of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. So that means this 105 here, 105 plus the whole of this angle here should give us 180. Supplementary means they add up to 180. So it means that this whole angle here, this whole angle is 180 minus 105. And that will give us 75 degrees. But we already know this place as 35 degrees. We already know this part now, this angle as 35, 35. So this remaining place, which is X, has to be, because the whole of this place is 75, here is 35. So this remaining place, which is X, will be equal to 75 minus 35. And that will be equal to, that will give us X is equal to 40 degrees as the final answer.